If there was one thing you wish men understood better about women, what would it be? Like when something is fine, it's not fine. Like read, like read between the lines. You mean be a mind reader? Yeah, exactly. So, so men are expected to be mind readers. Exactly. Why do women often expect men to do things that they're not physically capable of? Um, I don't know. I, I haven't encou- like I don't do that. Like I don't expect men to do things they're incapable of. Isn't that what you just said though? <laughs> Being a mind reader? Well, yeah. you want us to read between the lines, right? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this: Who's better at communication, men or women? Uh, women. Wait, wait. So if men, wait, wait, wait. So if men are worse at communication, why do so many women expect men to read their body language? I think men are better communicators logically. Women are better with like communicating like emotionally. Okay. Can you think of any situation where logic wouldn't outweigh emotions? I think logic should always outweigh emotion. She just said that she wants to be able to be understood when she says I'm fine and she's not fine. That's not good communication if she literally can't communicate that. I mean, she said that and not me. <laughs> so she's a bad communicator. Well, we're better communicators in the sense of like, we're better communicating our emotions. So when it comes to relationships, we're better. And, but like when it comes to like logic, maybe guys are a bit, a bit more better at that. I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna ask a question for the three of you. Who's better at self-improvement, men or women? I would say, I would say men. I would say it doesn't matter based on gender. Self-improvement just depends on the person, not the... In general, who's better at self-improvement, men or women? Who is better at self-improvement, men or women? Women. 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 Rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. 10. 10, very good. Two. A two? What would what? it take to make you a 10? Um, a lot of things. For, for, for the women who are 10s, isn't the first step towards improvement admitting you're not perfect? Yes. So then why would you admit you're a 10, which is perfect? Because I am perfect, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. You got it, that's uh, in two questions you get to expose it. I would, I would say men because like once there's a breakup, they go straight to, like it depends the mentality. Like if you're a woman that likes to go to the gym, then it's similar, but like for men, like when there's a breakup, they go straight to the gym, they focus only on like bettering themselves, like eating clean, all that. While you guys cry and drink wine and eat cookies. I don't do that. What do other women do? I don't know. I go to the gym. We talk about our feelings. Cry. I mean, there could be tears. It could get emotional, but yeah. Who do you think cries more? Both. I, well, I think y'all hide it more, though. But y'all Sounds like strength more, if you hide it. I don't think that's strength. I think that's sad. Crying in public is a, shine, is a sign of strength? Yeah, f*** it. If you were to cry right now, bro. You would be like, you're strong? Yeah. You're out here, like, crying in front of people? That's strong? Yeah. What do you define as strength? Doesn't strength take courage? Yeah, bravery. You're out here crying? Like, that's brave. Who's more honest, men or women? Uh, definitely women. I would say men. I think people that have balls are more honest. I think 100% of the time that's men. Yeah. Should your man provide for you and protect you in a relationship? Um, if that's the type of partner you're looking for, you're look, if you're looking for somebody to protect and provide, then you yes. too. Should you be with a man that's going to protect and provide for you? I like women. How much money should your baby daddy make? Your baby daddy's broke though. <laughs> Ideally, how much should he make? Well, me, I personally make a lot of money. I make around 250, 300K a year, so I want a man on my level. On my level or more. What do you do for work? Shit. <laughs> I do a lot of shit. <laughs> when two lesbians go on a date, they'll often hold the door open for each other and split the bill. Why is it as soon as a man is involved, he suddenly has to do all the work? Um, I can't speak for heterosexuals, but what I say, like, for lesbians, it always depends on the people's relationship. I know sometimes I don't split the bills sometimes. Sometimes they always pay for it. Sometimes I might take care of it. It just depends on your partner. So I don't really think, I think it just definitely depends on who you are as a person. I don't think he has to. I think, um, like, you decide that or not. I would appreciate it. It does look good, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's the kind of guy that you're, looking for or not. He's going to bring what he has to the table, so it's up to you to decide if you want to deal with it or not. I personally would like a guy that, you know, like pay for the dinner if we went on a date. If he's taking me out, yes, pay. But if I ask him out on the date, I should pay. If I ask yes, him out. Yes, women do take men on dates. When's the last time you've asked a man to go on a date? Never. I don't like that. I 
have a long relationship history. I used to be married. I did take him out on dates. I paid, but he also paid my rent and paid everything, paid the bills, uh, everything. I didn't have to worry about anything. But when I asked him out, I did pay. When I he take asked women me out, on dates. Pay. Was that really relevant if he was paying for your rent? Did that dinner that you bought him once every other month compare to the rent he was paying? Uh, no, but it was just like, it wasn't expected for him to pay. I think that's just like, that's just what I'm saying. If you ask somebody out on a date, you should pay. So if I asked him out, I'm paying just automatically. Okay. It's not like the man should pay every time, but if you ask me out, yes, you should pay. So it sounds like you guys like some sort of gender roles. And you said that gender is not a social construct and that boys could be boys, girls could be girls, and that you could be whoever you want. But those are ideas that have only been around for maybe the past 30, 40 years. For the rest of history, gender was not a social construct, and that meant that men had to be men and women had to be women. Can a man identify as a woman? He can identify as a woman. If he chooses, sure. Does that make him a woman? No. Okay. 100% no. So should men be able to compete in women's sports? Absolutely not. Can I compete against five-year-old kindergartens? No, no, that's not what I, that's not what I meant. Like, if... If like somebody's transitioning or whatever, like I think they should do, you know, like if 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 they're fully like, you know, presenting as such, then. Like, what does that mean, presenting as such? A wig and a skirt? No, like yeah, like not like that, but like. Makeup. Like if they're. Nails. Why would why would you allow a man who has gone through male puberty to compete in women's sports? Like, would you allow Money Mayweather to go fight against? other female MMA, like, absolutely not. Like, that's what they want to be, then fuck it. So if they decide? Yeah, like. Can I know. decide to compete against five-year-old kindergarten girls? Um, well, that's not, like, fair. Cause, like, they're so much younger. If they were the same age. If we do MMA right now, it's not fair either. Pro probably not, I mean. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> probably not, no. Can a man identify as a woman? Fuck no. Yes. Sneeko. <laughs> That's well, all I'm going to say, bro. <laughs> hey, a man cannot be a woman. A woman can never be a man, my nigga. Are men and women equal? I don't care. Look, Allah anyway. said that the man is not like the woman. The woman is not like the man. We are different, yeah. okay? Although a plane and a car still both run on jet fuel, they are both different creations. That's it. Why will women admit that men are physically stronger when they want protection while also thinking that biological men should compete in women's sports? I mean, that's a good question. I think that's just confusion and... Uh, women probably just saying, hey, there's somebody on our side, there's somebody that, that agrees with us, so we'll take all the help that we can get. You're generalizing. I do not agree with that. I don't So, so you, you, don't, you don't think that biological men should be competing in women's sports? No, but I do think that there should be more inclusivity. I think there should be a, uh, a women's league, a men's league, and a trans league to make it even so no one's left out. That's I think a controversial opinion. Do you agree should trans people be in their own league? Should biological men not be able to compete in women's sports? If I put on a wig and say I'm a girl, can I go and play you against tennis and absolutely destroy you? I mean, I feel like your identity, it shouldn't really matter. Like, if you identify as a girl... So, yes? I didn't... Let me answer. I feel like if however you identify, that's fine, but, like, it shouldn't matter. So I could compete against you in MMA? MMA, I personally would decline your offer, but I'm sure there's other... It's not about you specifically. It's I, Should I be able to compete against you in MMA and choke you out? I mean, if you identify as a woman... Yes. I don't know. Don't they, like, put them together versus, like, their weight and, like, their class? And they get destroyed by the biological men wearing wigs. I mean, there could be a woman that could I whip mean, their ass. That's not what happens ever. But they're not. They're you not. Never know. They're, Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, that makes no sense. I agree with your friend here that they should have their own thing. They shouldn't be competing against biological women. Yeah, but they, are, they, are, they are doing what they can right now because there is no trans leagues. So they're just trying to, you know, like fit in. So they should just compete. The man with the wig should just compete with the other men. No, but there is an issue about it. There should be more inclusivity. Like there should be somewhere for them to go. So if I put on a wig, I should have my own league? I mean, it's not about putting on a wig. On a wig. It's, it's about knowing wig. yourself. It's, a lot goes into being trans. So if I believe I'm a woman, I should have my own league? Huh? If I believe I'm a woman, I should have my own league? Yeah, if you're biologically a woman, you're trans, there should be a trans. That's not what biologically means. Biologically means you're born a woman. Yeah, what were you saying? If you were biologically born Me, a woman? me. If I believe I'm a woman, should I have my own league? Yes, that would make you trans. Can he, a white man, identify as being black? Um, 
if he wants to, but he's not. Do you think that he can identify as a black man? No, I don't. Why? He's not dark-skinned. But if I identify as a woman, I'm a woman? If you want to be a woman, you can be a... I mean, you, you can be a woman. You can say you're a woman, but you're not a woman. So you don't believe that transgender people are actually what they say they are? Um... They are whoever they want to be. What do you think? But he could identify as a woman. If he wants to be. So why can't he identify as Tequavius Johnson the <laughs> third? Okay. I think everyone has their own opinions and beliefs and I'm not one to judge and I may not I may not believe in what you believe in, but I'm not gonna downplay you because your beliefs are different than mine. Can you identify as a black person? No. Why? Because I'm not black. That's like I'm not a woman, but I can identify as, as a woman according to you. If you transition, maybe. What defines a transition? Like, if that's, if that's your goal, you know? If you believe it. Sure. If you believe you're black, why aren't you black? Well, that's just not, that's like genetics. That's like ancestry. Like, you're black. Right? You're also born a man or a woman. It's the same thing. That's also genetics. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Why are people saying that we should believe the scientists when it comes to climate change and vaccines, but not when it comes to biology and chromosomes? Uh, <laughs> pick and choose as to what you want to what you want to agree with. It's plain and simple. Do you think a lot of people today have selective accountability? Absolutely. Selective accountability is a great word for it. At some point, there has to be some objective truth, some objective morality. If everybody believes that they have their own version of morality and truth, no, it's not about science. What's the difference, what's the difference between your truth and the truth? My truth is my truth. That's the difference. Should I respect that? Absolutely. Okay. What if my truth is that I like to sleep with dogs? Should you respect that? I feel like live your life is very disgusting. I should live, live my life. That's it. Wait, hold up. That's disgusting now. Now you, you said it, you said you should respect it, and now it's disgusting. Like, I'm just saying, like, if that's what you want to do, I don't think it's right, but, like, I don't respect that if shit. that's your truth, that's your truth, but... So it doesn't sound like you respect it if you think it's disgusting and it's not right. I think it's disgusting. Why, that's why, my why, opinion. That that's my opinion. Because you said, well, hold on, hold on. You said that you should respect everybody who has their own truth. I said that if I say I like sleeping with dogs, based on your judgment of truth... Comes at a certain extent. So there you got. So they, you agree with me? At some point, there is an objective truth. Are you really yeah, sleeping moral, with dogs, that's, though? That's no, I'm not. Also, yeah. I feel like you're being like to hypothetical. Extent, but yeah. but if you're being for real, like I'm being hypothetical because I'm using your standard of truth. If we follow yours and people just get to be like, okay, it's my truth that I like to sleep with dogs, then there's all this degeneracy. At some point, you got to say no, like transgender sports. No. So say I wanted to be in a relationship with a dog. Would you say that that's okay? No. <laughs> Even though it doesn't affect you, it doesn't hurt anybody. It's hurting the dog. What if the dog is just licking peanut butter? <laughs> Technically, it's not even hurting the dog. It gets to eat good protein. The, peanut butter is great protein for the dog, and I get satisfaction from it. Based on your diagnosis that if you feel that way, you're not going to judge. You judge me for be wanting to be with the dog, but you don't judge a man turning well, into a woman. I want to be with... <laughs> You're right. There's a current trend from the liberals and the feminists. They say that if you feel this way, it's fine. I'm not going to judge. Do you believe in judgment? I do believe in judgment for sure. Uh -huh. Do you think that we prioritize feelings over facts? We definitely do. Where is our morality based at? Our, in the West. Our morality in the West. It's based around feelings completely, not hurting each other's feelings and just being kind to one another, putting people's ideologies before truth and fact. Do you believe a post-op transgender person should be morally obligated to tell their partner that they're transgender? Within a certain amount of time, yes. I'm not saying first date, but yeah, within the first two or three weeks, absolutely, you have an obligation. Absolutely not. Um, if you don't feel obligated to tell your partners every single time you had anal sex before them, nobody's obligated to tell you about their past history at all. If it doesn't affect the current relationship, if you feel some kind of way about it, that's something you should have disclosed and it's not up to your partner to go back into their history to explain themselves. Just like if you had a disease, AIDS or 
uh, you know, syphilis or something like that, you have an obligation to tell your partner, listen. So would you compare being transgender to having a disease? No, I would not compare being transgender to having a disease. I'm just saying there's something that is, you need to inform your partner. Okay, well, why would they need to do that if trans women are real women? They're not real women. Okay. Were you born a man? Yes, then you're a man. You can, listen, get surgery, do whatever it is you want to do if that's what makes you happy. I can't imagine what it's like to look in the mirror and not see the person that I believe I am, but that does not make you a woman. Is it fair to label men who don't date trans women transphobic or is that preference? That's just preference. We are still kind of living in a state of post bigotry. So I can't really like blame you for your initial reaction, but there is the general rule of your first reaction is how you're raised. Your second response is what you've learned. Always go based on what you've learned and then bigotry shouldn't be an issue. Does a man have the right to feel betrayed if a trans woman doesn't disclose her past? Within, if it's been two years, then yes, I would, I would say you could feel betrayed. But if it's been two weeks, then no, you've got to give that person an opportunity to kind of work up the courage to say, hey, this is my past. Well, wouldn't a man have the right to know right away if a woman can become the potential mother to his kids? If having children out the gate is a concern of yours, then that is a conversation you need to have out the gate. And yes, at that point, it is responsible to disclose that information. But if that's not a conversation that you guys have had prior to that, I'm a biological woman and I can't have kids and I don't start out every single fucking date with, I'm not gonna be the mother to your kids. So it, it, there's literally no difference. Does a person have the right to feel betrayed if their partner doesn't disclose their promiscuous past? No. Why is the past the past when it comes to your partner's body count, but not when they've had a sex change? Because that's, um, that's like a false pretense. You're entering into the relationship with somebody that you believe to be a biological male or female, as opposed to you're entering into a relationship with somebody who's, you just assume, you're just assuming that person has a low body count. Uh, and then you find out differently later, that's... No, I mean, nobody wants to hash up their past. And sometimes people's past is dark. And if they're ready to tell you, they will tell you. And if you love somebody, you will accept when they're ready to tell you. Forcing somebody to disclose information about them that is deep is honestly kind of low-key selfish. Are men and women equal? Uh... uh... <laughs> Like, there's a lot of things that men do that also women can do. Like, I don't need a man for shit, period. Period. Okay. Period, exactly. Are men and women equal? Period. Exactly what she said, period. So why do you think that women are more honest than men? More honest? Uh, I think we know what we want. We put it out front. This is what we want, and uh, I think that's why we're more honest. If your friend looked fat, would you tell her? Uh, like, she's my best friend, probably. But if she's like a random person, probably not. Would you tell one of your two friends right here if they look fat? I guess, but like, no. No? Yeah, no, no, I would tell them, but they don't look fat, they look great, no? Okay. What would you rate them on a scale of one to 10? Tens, tens, 100% 10. She's a 10 though. No, I don't rate myself. You're, you're a 10, I'm sorry, you're a 100. No, no. She's a 100. <laughs> I'm not gonna rate myself none because that shit don't matter. It matters what's up here, period. Mine, let's go! I'm a real ass bitch. I got money, baby. This Chanel, seven bands. This PBL, <laughs> ten bands. I'm a real bitch. I, I thought it matters what's up here, and then you pointed to your BBL. Okay, but listen, 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 listen. I'm a few daiquiris in. Sounds like you're not honest. I, I'm a very honest person. Yeah, I'm very honest. What could they improve the most about their looks? Nothing. They're perfect. Do you believe her? No. <laughs> no. Do you think she's being honest right now? Like, to a degree, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even believe what you're saying right now. You're lying to me. No, I, I mean... And that's, you said that's a fresh BBL? Oh, uh, no, it's one year old. But it looks fresh, doesn't it? No, it's one that's year old. No, but it looks fresh, though. It looks fresh, though. Uh, it, it was just my BBL's first year anniversary. But, and but tell me, tell me, does this look fresh, though? It does, right? It does. It does. So it sounds like we lie for different reasons. Women lie because they are putting forward their appearance. Men lie because they are putting their personality forward. So you're equating one worse than the other, saying that men lying is being shitty, but a woman lying is just her, you know, making her appearance look better. Why is one worse than the other? If you're lying about your appearance and I'm lying about my personality and what I'm good at, why am I worse than you? 
That's a valid point, but I believe that if you're just lying about something, like let's say someone asks, oh, what, what are your intentions, and you're completely lying about your intentions, well, I'm asking you straight up. Compared, well, if a woman just looks good, you're not asking her, like, oh, well, show me what's underneath your makeup or whatever. So I think it's different. If you're I, asking someone I don't think forward. wearing makeup is lying. Like, I just don't get that. When you wear lashes, you're lying and saying that these are my lashes when they're not. I don't think it has to do with lying. I don't know. It's like two different things. You're enhancing just... your features. If you could improve one thing about yourself, what would it be? My boobs. I'm getting another boob job in <laughs> September. Another one? I thought it matters what's up here. Listen, no, but, Listen. but still, they still look good, so. <laughs> so wait, would you get another, was that a Brazilian boob lift? A Brazilian, a Brazilian boob lift? Yo! Ain't no way. Ain't no way? Which they, which they, which they, you said anal, that. anal way, the anal way, the, the anal, the anal way, right? Wait, no. you told me to try the anal. Yo, what? Tell them about the time you did anal. No, stop. Why do you believe in astrology? Well, I kind of like am into like the zodiacs and stuff, but not too much. It's more like I believe in some like a higher power, but maybe it's just a soul that's kind of using my vessel right now. Do you think women are more likely to believe in things like astrology and crystals than men are, and if so, why? I do, um, because I feel like women kind of have more of an open mind, but that's just from personal experience talking to women, women and men. But a lot of men bring it up to me first, actually. What do they say? They ask what my sign is, stuff like that. Do you think that they actually care about that or they're just trying to get into your pants? Um, I, uh, most of the time I think they're trying to get into my pants. What sign are you, am I emulating to you right now? Um, you, like what sign do I think you are? Maybe like an Aries? What are you? What are you? I'm a Cancer. Okay. Yeah. This conversation is giving me Cancer. Take a look around you here in Vegas. Every girl, f five, six, seven, a ten even. They're on their phones 24-7. They've got the guys. They've got the UFC fighter with them. They've got, they've got the, the millionaire, the multimillionaire. They're still on their phone looking for the next best thing. So I feel like they could never have what they truly want. But what they truly want, desire, and need is God and is a man. A strong, confident, leading man. Doesn't make sense, right? It's complicated. It's complicated. It is indeed. No, actually... It's not that complicated. We prioritize feelings over facts and not because we actually care about people, because they want us to all be confused. They want us to all be at the bottom. They want us to be easily controlled. So when we prioritize feelings and we don't even know how to say what the truth is and everybody believes in their own truth, their own independent truth, we're prioritizing Satan over God. We're trying to separate God because we want to separate morality. When people don't have a higher belief, then they're easily to manipulate and put whatever they want into your head. And they don't have their, they don't have our best interests in mind. Why would they? If they want ultimate control, they would want us all confused, depressed, and sad and fat. Very simple. Not that complicated.